time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, October 16th, S&P up 26, NASDAQ up 18, Russell, that strong little rut, up 35, Dow up 315, gold up, gold and silver both up a little, uh, right around a half percent, notes and bonds a little bit green, 10-year yield off a half percent, oil down a third of a percent, natty gas down about four and a half. Soybeans red, wheat and corn green on the day, euro in the pound a little bit red, Bitcoin up about 1.2%. VIX, small contraction from yesterday's close, sitting at 19.64. My VIX, I've gotten stopped out on all my call sides, uh, still up a couple hundred on those, still got one more tranche to go, it'll be a tight one. Uh, I did a one DTE that I transformed into an upside vertical for tomorrow. So if we expire above 58.50 tomorrow, that would be a full win. Um, I did an early WUGA on the 35s and 40s. Did a regular WUGA on the 40s and 45s. Entered a new one, two double calendar. I took off several calendars. I still have a 5-7 that I will take off here in about 45 minutes. Um, it is back in the green. It went from up almost 20%. I was trying to get filled on a 20% profit target yesterday. I was at around 19, didn't fill. Dropped all the way down into the red today. Now it's back in the green. If we get one more push up in SPX, it'll print nicely. So it's just barely green right now, but a big push would be a big profit. Uh, my price action BIX, I did, I've done three tranches, took profits uh, on two of them before getting stopped out on the call side. And then my last one, I got stopped out on the call side. So a little bit green on those as we speak. A uh, big down move would not be good for those, but should be green if we stay up uh, the rest of the day. Chad, how's your day? Pretty slow, really. Um, I had to get my, take my dogs to get their shots this morning, so missed a little bit of day trading, but got back a little after 9 Central and jumped in a couple mighty 90s, made some nice money. Uh, we don't 20... believe in dog vaccinations at our household. Yeah, well, um, <laughs> I'm leaving for Montana here in a week and a half, and they got to go to the boarding. Uh, yeah, they require it. Yeah. So uh, other than that, it had been like three years. <laughs> I kind of felt bad walking in there. Uh, but placed one TLC, booked 20%, 40%, and then, you know, this grind up, I, I posted in my channel, you know, I normally would have added – but the premiums were just so low. Um, you know, I, I, I would have had to overlap a strike and it still would have only been like 15 wide. So I didn't add and good thing I didn't. Cause then it had that big push up, stop me out. So, you know, I had one trade with a 40% out. That was 1550. So, Another light day of TLC due to premiums. Um, and again, not I just can't justify getting in a five wide TLC when I can do a five wide Wooga, which I did and I posted that. So um, 
same thing as you. I'm on the 40s and 45s. So, yeah. Oh, I also had a doctor appointment at 1130 this morning. Um, trying to get out in front of this little voice issue I have every fall. I remember last year, if you were here last year for like two and a half months, like I didn't have my voice. Yeah, you're a professional streamer. You got to keep those uh, cords. Yeah, it, it's like every fall. And it also coincides, I think, with when I lose my voice yelling at sporting events. Because I had a football game Friday night and then the two Royals games Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, wait. Wednesday, Thursday after that. So in a week, I had three sporting events where I was yelling. So got some meds for that and got back here. Time to do power hour. So um, it's been a busy day, but uh, and thus I, it's been light trading day. So I saw you took a couple day trades. I, I led the live stream and I I didn't even take one. I'm, um, I, I saw that Amazon one. I was a little bit late. Yeah. There's one yeah. in NVIDIA that I was late on. So I, uh, I the Coinbase it. one was good too, right? Yeah, the Coinbase was after I ended the live stream. I did. Yeah, you had just edited it. Effect. I was like, yeah, I was like, ooh, that's a that's a dandy mighty ninety in coin. Yeah, I really like that Amazon one too. Well, if we can just kind of truck along right along this uh, expected move line. I'd be good with that for the rest of the day. Maybe a little push up to get out of my five, seven and come back. Uh, I mean, haven't I haven't been doing it long enough to say it's for sure better. I mean, you can do the back testing to to look at the two different variations, but um, yeah, I found I found uh, holding it to expiration definitely pays more from a back testing perspective, and it's done well so far. Yeah, the old volatility contraction is not working for the calendars today. That's for sure. Although if we get a, another leg up in SPX, that 5.7 will print. Q39 J trade, not Q57. You got to get your numbers right. Yeah, I was like, never heard of it. <laughs> but yeah, Q39 <laughs> is my favorite. Actually, I think Q39 is like towards the bottom of the list. What? That's what Man. a lot of lists that I see. Oh, you know, I'm my list. It's at, the, it's at the top of my list. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I always see uh, Joe's, uh, LC's, Arthur Bryant's, and Gates above it. I am not a fan of I like I like Gates sauce, but I am not a fan of Gates uh meat. It's just not good, I don't think. Yeah, I've only I've only been to Gates like once. What? Well, I mean I go to Joe's all the time. Yeah, I mean Joe's. Joe's for me. Yeah, I'm not really that big on Arthur Bryant's either. Um well, plus I, ha I haven't been to Slaps. That that's that gets in the top top ten as well. I don't know that I've even heard of that one. Sometimes the top five slaps. It's in KCK. Okay. Huge line there all the time. 
Yeah. Joe's is good. Q39 is good. I like Jack Stack. Slaps is always is over there, not not far from where your wife's shop was or where it is. Yeah. You got Netflix earnings? When is that? Not today, is it? No, it's tomorrow. Netflix is, yeah, tomorrow after the bell. Yeah, it's after the bell. Netflix is pulled off of its all-time highs by about 30 points the last few days. Yeah, Hangar 29 up by the airport. It's really good. Yeah, I knew the guy that opened that, so I knew it was going to be good. Something like this would work, chess master. Hovering right at 40. That's where my Wugas want to be at the end of the day. Hey, what that old vet bill 300 bucks a dog 600 total i don't recommend go taking your dog to the vet uh well let's see yeah mine closes um today at the end of the day it's the one in my trade plan in the calendar trade plan If I remember right, five seven tests not too different. Closing it. No, I can't remember now. I'd have to go back and mess with it. But yeah, I have I have moved my six seven to close uh tomorrow as well. I was closing it today on Wednesday, but kind of reworked that a little bit, closing it tomorrow. That one's up 13% currently. I already took half off at Liquid one, are you on here? I 
I saw your post in the Trade Steward channel. Go Big Orange tagged me. I haven't had a chance to look at it, but if you're on here, let me know. We'll see if you can see if we can answer your question. So what was your question? I, I'm not able to go back and read through all those messages right now. Uh, yeah, I have Joseph T. I haven't, I haven't done it too much, but I mean, they're pretty highly correlated. So they're typically going to work fairly similarly. You're, you know, you're going to have days where, you know, their movement slightly different at the end of the day, of course. So, but you know, the cool thing about NDX is you can get wider too, if you want at the end of the day, because those strikes are because it's such a higher price product. You know, NDX is a $20,000 product. So, you know, I could go with the 30 Delta, 20 wide. Still get a $9 credit right now, $8.5 credit. And have a uh, this one's about almost a one-to-one -one ratio of risk to reward. Now, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't, I don't use SP, NDX on anything that I would use a stop on, but it's perfect for this, right? Because once you get filled to enter, you're just letting it, letting it expire, or even you know taking profits, but you don't have to worry about a stop on something like this. Uh, all right, Liquid One says in Trade Steward with a TLC trade, how do you do a centered IC? Yeah, you would just choose the credit that you're targeting on each side. So three dollars, for example, you would do that on both the call side and the put side. So for example, here's mine. So uh in I I, I just targeted three and a half. Because it's it's gonna get the closest to whatever you put there. And then I have 50 wide wings, um, or I have uh five cent wings up to a max width of 50, 50 wide. So you can, you know, you can, you can try three, but then, you know, you're going to get some fills at like 225 or, you know, it depends on where the strikes are, especially later in the day when they get a little bit wider, as far as the variance goes, you know, you may get some smaller or bigger fills. So you'll just have to play with it. I just kind of, when I was using it, I'm not using this right now, but when I was using it, I would do a, I, I, I just kind of settled on three and a half. That way it would kind of air a little bit higher than three bucks if there was a difference between the the strikes. Cool. And then it's, it's just a user triggered bot. And then I would just set a, what I've done it, I just set an 80% profit target. 
And then if you're doing, you know, four or eight or 10 contracts or whatever, then I would just manually scale out with the little double down arrows on the dashboard. Chess master, did you do your homework that I assigned you this morning? <laughs> what was this homework? To watch to watch the mighty watch ninety and runner course. I, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> sort of. Come on, chess master. You're an airplane pilot for God's sakes. Act like it. Put that thing on autopilot and just watch the videos. Free flight checklist. Chess master, get it done. Trying to learn the strategy midstream. Is that what was going on? He's just flying blind. <laughs> <laughs> just jumped in the trade and then said, now, where do I take my profits? <laughs> uh, I'm just giving you a hard time, chess paper, master. Paper trading, right? That's what I said. I said, surely you're paper trading, right? <laughs> what a legend. Well, price is acting nice for us. So far, so good. Yeah, or how about a little how about a little simulator, chess master? AKA paper trading. Nothing wrong with that. Ooh, how many times did you fly a simulator before you jumped into the air? Well, that's a good point. There's a lot of parallels with trading and being a pilot. He's got you there, chess master. <laughs> I'm going to keep beating on you, chess master, until you do it. I don't want you losing money. AKA crashing your plane. Whatever reason, my last big tranche will only fill one side lately. It's because how, I mean, it has something to do with the parameters I have set on the my target price, but I cannot get it to fill both sides late in the day like this. The premiums are low. So I, it filled the call side only, so I just closed it out. So if we stay up, I'll be green on the BIX.
My 5.7 is hovering around break even. Needs another little push up. Nice push up, and then we can settle back down to 40. What uh, what strategies were you trading on the bot J trade? Yeah, I know it's uh, I know it can be a little overwhelming trying to. trying to catch up on stuff, but just remember guys, this is a, this is a lifelong skill. So I know it's, I know it's frustrating when you see and everybody kind of already there and doing the trades and all that kind of stuff, but there's, there's no, no rush. The market's going to be here forever and you're building a, building a lifelong skill. I talk to a lot of people on Zoom calls that are in such a hurry to jump into trading. And I always, I always tell them, well, and what they say, you know, I've got X number of dollars. What, you know, what can I make? How fast can I make it? What, you know, it's like, you know, they might say, like, I got five grand, I got 10 grand, I got 20 grand. You know, what can I make, turn this into? And it's like, hey, how about you take about four or $500 of that? And over the next three to four months, you just start learning some of these strategies. And then at the end of those three or four months, you know, decide whether it's for you or if it's not for you. You know, instead of trying to just jump in the deep end right away. Yeah, I've seen more people lose money trying to make money too fast than anything else. Yep. Oh, um, yeah. So I just actually had a, is Alexandra on here? She's supposed to be. Just had a, my a second session with Alexandra. She doesn't really post much in the discord, but she follows along. Um, she's done really well. Um, we, uh, had our second session today and basically went, you know, reviewed her goals and action steps. And then we did, we determined what, you know, out of her action steps that she's been doing over the last four weeks, you know, what's been going well, what hasn't, um, you know, what action steps do we want to continue? What do we want to get rid of? Uh, any new ones we want to implement? So going really well. And then I have one, uh, another one, actually right after the live stream with Moel. I have a second one right after the live stream. So. Mo Moel hasn't really been sending me his data, so um, everyone's supposed to be sending it to me weekly. Uh oh, so he's Moel, gonna, you're just yeah. you're getting reprimanded. He's gonna get hammered on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's it's great to, for them to share their results and um, see the results. Whether it's uh, Alexandra was paper trading, and halfway through she start live. She's doing live now TLC and. One DTE. Um, she's still paper trading Wooga. So um hope to get her live trading that shortly. So, but been going very well. Haven't had any new new signups lately, so um definitely have some openings and some time 
for some uh, new signups, though. Wooga is up 26%. I did a I did a ten lot wuga in my TLC account, which is bigger than normal. Normally I do four or five contracts, but since I only did one TLC trade today, I was like, yeah, I'll go a little bigger today. And I'm gonna take half off at fifty percent. Felt like a good day to do it with uh, you know, price just pushing up above the expected yeah. move. So it's up, up about 0.44% from the open. Yeah. Um, after I had that last big move there before power hour, I was like, okay, feels like it wants to, I'd like to see it settle down here a little bit and it started to. So I went a little bigger on that. And because it's like, why well, I only did one TLC trade in that account today. So it's like I could do another TLC trade or just do a, this Wooga that's a little less stressful, you know, because it doesn't have a stop. Yeah, I mean there there's a there's a a fee associated with that with the one-on-one -on -one coaching, but you know, in my opinion, what you get from it is extremely valuable. Because you know, that one-on-one -on -one time and then being able to create a plan that and you you receive a plan that you can physically you physically like I send it to him when as we create it our after our first session, you know, you, you can post it somewhere. You can sit on your desk. Um, you're being held accountable to it. Um, like there's just a little, if you if you have behaviors that you want to change that have been hard to change, I mean it's it, the plan do study act process is a research based best practice to changing behavior. Yeah, and accountability too. Like, I wish I had some more accountability when I was younger, when I first started trading. Are you trying to say I didn't keep you accountable? Well, I mean, no, not really. <laughs> I wasn't really asking for you to keep me accountable either, but um, I give Moel a hard time sometimes, though, because like he'll post some things in uh the channel be like wait wait a second like that's not part of your plan like <laughs> like so i get on him a little bit i'm i'm not uh like oh you gotta you gotta do this like every trade all the time like don't don't skip from your um uh the plan because then you, your results are inaccurate on whether or not the action step works so i mean moel could probably tell you like you know i hold him accountable not in, a, not in a bad way. Yeah, J Trade, all the uh I'm sure I would be Dark Avenger. <laughs> all the uh all those peeps are still around. I talked to some of your your teachers when you were growing up, Dark Avenger. Yeah, they they warned me. <laughs> was Dark Avenger was Dark Avenger one of those kids that always had to sit in the front? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Never follow the rules. <laughs> Uh, 
It was those kids that gave the classroom character, though, man. Yeah. Well, my five seven has about. 20 minutes to make a bounce. Uh, what do you mean by that, J-Trade? The Mighty 90 on your own is very different than Mighty 90 in the live stream. Just curious. Like sticking to the rules of the Mighty 90? What was the question? Uh, he says, Mighty 90 on my own is very different than Mighty 90 in the live stream for sure. You know, accountability is such a huge part of trading. But yeah, Mighty 90 and Volume Runner, I mean, they have rules. If you don't stick to them, you could get burned. Yeah, I would say and, the one that has the one that has the a little bit more discretion involved is the continuation runner, but Mighty yeah. 90 and, and Volume Runner are pretty cut dry. Yeah, so the and the my the biggest thing with the mighty ninety is waiting for those two consecutive bars because, you know, like ninety nine percent of the time I'm always going to even even if I've added and it's still going against me like it's not going to go down forever like it's just unless you know it's that one percent where there's a day where it it just it's flushing or it's just ripping but if you if you get out of it before your two consecutive bars and then. You know, go back and look at it later in the day. I can guarantee you, you would have gotten maybe you're still losing trade, but you would have gotten some money back if you would have waited and followed the rule. Nine times out of ten. So when I add on a mighty ninety is when I'm down 10% because that's my profit target. So if I get filled at, at $4 on a mighty 90 and it's going against me, now it's down to about 350, 360 and price is pushed down. So there's been a little bit of a price push, obviously. Then I will add to it because then I'll close half at 10% of that new, new fill, which is my original fill. So like if I get in at $4, if I add it 360, now I'm going to get out of half at four, which is my original fill. And then and hopefully, you know, it keeps going your way. And then my next out would be at 440 and then 480. And me, I don't, I don't necessarily add based on a, a percent that goes against me. I add if there's another price push and ideally if there's another volume kind of increase. But that's there's a little discretion for me on the adding as well. But typically, if the if it if it gets ten percent or more, you know, sometimes maybe fifteen percent against you, that's a price push. That's going to be a price push, typically. Or yeah, chess master, I'll do that too. If it if it's hitting like yesterday's low or something like that, I'll, yeah, I'll use that as kind of a line in the sand to add as well. Yep, me too. Thirty minutes to go. Who is it? Thirty five percent. Forty butterfly trading for about a buck thirty-five.
uh, liquid one. I've done both uh, 10 wide and 20 wide as far as the wings go. And then the deltas I'm doing somewhere between 30 and 40 typically. I'm really just looking at it from a risk versus reward perspective. Obviously, the wider I can get and still have at least a one-to-one -one risk reward, I prefer. But a lot of that depends on what the when you know how what premiums are at the end of the day. We have a uh, baseball tournament this weekend, but my son's in high school now, so I'm I'm uh, I'm retired from coaching. Yeah, this past spring was my last foray in the old baseball coaching. Enjoy it. fun i'm uh sure you know going to, uh, we've had one tournament this fall it was different you know going is just a parent as opposed to a coach but i uh i'm pretty pretty happy about not coaching anymore to be honest <laughs> it was fun it was fun but man it was a lot that's how it is for me with me this year in football first time not coaching football in like 10 years and uh honestly it's rough because i do want to be out there and uh, then when you sit in the stands and you see things players could be doing better, then it makes it even tougher because you want to get in there and coach them up. Yep. Or if I'm sitting there watching Stones High School game and I'm the defense is getting beat and I can tell they're going to get beat by, you know, just by looking at alignment. Like you want to run down and tell the coaches. <laughs> Can't do that either. Yeah, coaches. Coaches love that, don't they? <laughs> yeah, it's the coach Simone wouldn't like that. Probably. I don't know. I, you know, I thought about asking him, hey, you know, in the future, like, is there something I can do, like a defensive analyst or volunteer somehow?
Apparently we should have been loaded up on straddles today, Chad. Yeah, this would have been the day for it, right? Yeah, still using Trader Sync. My, uh, I actually have not these last two weeks. I haven't even done a weekly update just because I'm trading in. You know, I've got accounts with Tradier, Schwab, and IB, and now since the move over from TD to Schwab, it takes it takes two days for the options to settle. So, like on Friday, I have a bunch of options expiring, so they don't actually update in the system until Monday morning, and so it's just been a little bit of a pain because I'm, I'm already passed last week. I'm ready to focus on this week. And so I got to, I got to find a way to, I used to like to get those done on Friday or Saturday morning, but now I have to wait till Monday and it's just kind of a pain. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do on that at this point. Yeah, my homes is one of one of the strategies I've reported on all of them. Forty five butterfly trading for a buck fifty ish. Twenty minutes to go. That's right, J Trade. Uh, I mean, I love Toss is still for me the best of the best when it comes to platforms. I like Toss better when it was with TD than Schwab, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm doing, I'm using TAT with IB uh, for my BIC trades and I don't necessarily love IB because their customer support is almost non-existent, but their order execution is good. And I like TAT for that. Once you get the templates set up, it's, it's pretty nice. And then Tradier. Well, like yesterday, Tradier, you couldn't, you could barely execute orders for the first ten minutes after the market opens, and I've, I've, I've had issues with them not being able to get in or out of trades in the first five minutes of the day. They've got some issues. They're just, they need. It's time for them to put their big boy pants on. If they want to be a big boy broker. They got to put their big boy pants on. Yeah, I use trading view. And then Tasty, I've got an account at Tasty. I haven't traded. It's unfunded right now. I I haven't traded in it for quite a while. 
I don't need another account. I've got three yeah. toss accounts, one tradier, one IV. That's I'm good with that for now. Something I learned with Tasty is dormant accounts. They call them dormant. Um, if you fund them and then trade, like you still have to wait like sixty days to pull any of that principal out. Hmm. Like, like two months, you have to wait. It's like what? New and dormant accounts. Uh, you have to tag. So, I have to. I have to tag all my trades. So, I upload them at the end of the day, and then I tag each trade with with the strategy that it is. And there's some grouping issues. Sometimes they group legs of, you know. One's a different strategy together with a different one. So I have to separate them sometimes. So that's that's my only complaint about Trader Sync is sometimes there's some grouping issues if you use the same strike. All right, so my five seven is going bye bye for about a scratch. It looks like. And why won't it let me close it? Oh boy! See, here's a tradier issue. Yeah, my woo is at 45%. And sitting dead center. Yeah, good question. So it kind of depends on price movement. Um, I'm gonna see if I can let this one ride a little longer today. Um, so I actually have two Wugas on one in my TLC account. I am going to close half at 50%, but I did 10 contracts in my smaller account where I only did two contracts. Um, it's up 47%. As long as I don't see nothing getting out of control with price here, I might let it go to see if, if I can let it go to ex expiration. It doesn't count as one of my three day trades for the week. Right. Um, So I've done two in the last five days. So if I close this one, then I'm, my next one isn't available until Friday. So I would, I wouldn't, you know, I could trade tomorrow, but I don't like trading. And then, not having the ability to stop it when I'm in a small account like this. So if I can let it go to expiration and be profitable, then I, I like to do that. 
because it doesn't count. Yeah, same strikes on both both my Wugas. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with nothing wrong with closing it out. In those last ten minutes, they can be Yeah, you just don't know what you're gonna get. Marking the forties and forty fives on the Mahomes flies. Got MOC in two and a half minutes. Newsday tomorrow. So tomorrow we've got retail sales and unemployment claims pre-market. One Fed speaker at 10 a.m. Yeah, Allie, both the VIX and price movement instead of brick wall, which is great. Yeah, that's a good point, Jake. Chad, you could you could close it out by just doing the opposite side on the puts and calls, then it wouldn't be counted as a day trade if you wanted to close early. Say that again. So if you have the uh, equity on the 40-45s, I think you said. Yeah. Yeah, so you could, on the call side, you've got the four, you've got the uh, 45, 55 calls. So you could, you could buy the 45 put and sell the 55 put. And then on the put side, you could do the opposite. You could buy the 58, 40 call and sell the 5830 call and that essentially cancels it out and then you just let all those expire without having a day trade box it that's right really yeah so if you just uh, so how, it, but how does that avoid it because it it just it can't it cancels everything out like if you set it up on your analyze tab oh, i see what you're saying so it'll it'll you'll just see a flat line based on and it'll show whatever profit you've got and then it just expires and then you don't you're not counted as a day trade okay i would want to do that I would one want billion buy side Ooh. I don't like that. I might try to paper trade that once to see how that's done. Yeah, or just set it up. Set it up on your analyze screen. I have. Well, the, pro have the problem is, is I have a uh, tasty works for the discount. Oh, analyze sucks. So if you're, so Chad, are you looking at my screen? Yeah. So see, this is the one you have on, right? 40, 45s. Yeah. And then the, or yeah, 40, 30s and 45, 55s. So in TOS, right. you can just say analyze opposite trade. Right. And then you would just change these to puts and these to you got to put it on custom. These two. What did I do? 
Yeah, that's it. No, that's not right. Yes, yeah, I need. I'll I'll tinker with it on a paper trade. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Oh yeah, I just needed to unlock it. So see see the yeah. see the flat line. So right, I'm up. I'm up. Uh, you know, thirteen hundred bucks. If I do that opposite trade, my flat line is at thirteen hundred bucks, and then it would just expire that way. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I have I'm not sure I could. Dick K in the house. I have to figure out how to do that with Tasty Works. So essentially, just create a closing order and then flip the calls and puts. Yep, yep, got it. All right, we got the uh, 40 butterfly trading for about a buck 80. Maybe close to two bucks. Build on the 40s. All right, now I need to dip or bounce and then settle back at 40. Also filled on the forties. Four minutes to play, Mahomes. Four minutes. Love a uh, little little shift, and then back to forties for Wuga. Would be ideal.
three minutes. Yeah, you could just close the shorts, Kelvin. Have a good one, J Trade. Two minutes. I kind of expect a little bit of an up move. Yeah, I was too. I thought we might retest that high of day. One minute. Let's stay above 40. Mahomes needs a move, preferably up. Thirty seconds. I take a forty three pin. Mm -hmm. I get out of the well, come back down. That's gonna be a pin, baby, for the Wooga. Five, four, three, two, one. Ding, ding, ding. Where's the mark? 42, 42. So Mahomes just inside. 43 would have been break even. But Wooga, Wednesday Wooga for the win. Oh, yeah. My 10 lot winner was a monster win. Oh, yeah. Nice. I did, I did close half at 50%, but still. Monster I winner. Eight, I had eight lots between the early one and the regular one, all pinned. Or nice. Close to, close to it. All right, all. <clears throat> That's a wrap. Tomorrow's live stream, Chad will be on the mic in the morning at the open for day trading. And, we'll be, and we will be back for Power Hour. Have a good night. Take care.